Hey everyone, so for today's Busted Eye, I'm going to try out this Hunky Dory set I've had for, I don't know, at least a year if not two. <laughs> um, just really cute sets they put out, but I've never really tried them. And then the other day when I made that uh, unicorn card, that's going to be Miranda's birthday card now, uh, from a magazine, I was like, you know what? That's really cute. So hopefully I can come up with something on my own. Um, we'll see. Uh, excuse me. If I have any links available, they'll be in the description box. Those will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're purchasing through those links. So I have a few different packs. I just grabbed this one. It's called Teddy Loves. Luxury Topper Collection. And, oh my gosh, I had mentioned in a video before that um, I like to watch the Hunky Dory videos because they just... They just do stuff that I wouldn't even, like, imagine, you know, <laughs> at all. And, um, even this is, like, a nice way. Look at that. Um, I suppose if you want to, you can use the back side of it. And somebody had mentioned, they're like, oh, I, I you know, I, I can't imagine you have time to watch the whole video or, you know, to watch the videos because they are, like, over an hour long. And I, you know, I kind of skip to the parts where they do the tutorials. But, um, just so cute. I mean, they just have the best, cutest ideas, design team, people who work there, whatever it is. But anyway, so these are all the kind of sheets they have. Like, they have, like, borders. They have, like, maybe, um your sentiments um, and then you know they're made in a way that you know if you want to make it like a six inch card I'm assuming that's about six inches maybe it's five uh, you already have things to uh, layer that up with you know this little circle cuts out from this part from this part like all these different ways that they layer I mean look at this oh my goodness I might already have an idea this is such a sweetie look <laughs> and then the little foil oh my gosh you guys on your special day celebrate in style this is so cute to a pretty little girl oh my gosh and then uh, sending birthday wishes. I mean, the thing is, it's not really just about this particular set because, of course, they have tons of them. I don't even know if this is available. Like I was saying, I've had it for a while. But, um, you know, this archway. And they just do crazy stuff. I'm like, how? Oh, my gosh. So I'm just going to show you really quick. I'm not going to dwell on each one. Like, this is so sweet because this is more of, like, a typical card size. Oh, Sorry, I knew I had a sneeze coming even from before, but I, I just kept powering through. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't have kept powering through <laughs> my voice like went away um, anyway there we go oh and some of these are you know very much like a dad or grandpa or whatever look yeah how sweet and then this is their um, toppers right and this is uh, let's see it's called topper sheets whatever but uh, printed cardstock and accent foiled cardstock uh, adorable scorable papers or whatever it is that they call them but look at these so you think kind of like what are you supposed to do when I first saw them in the other set that unicorn set that I worked with last it's like oh it'd be cute to make a box with you know because it's such a nice weight and you have like a little image and everything but they make them so like you cut this off or you cut this piece and you cut that and that's like your card base you do your you know z folds like they're just so smart the way they do this stuff and that's why you have to look at it in a totally different way and I'm not you know generally in that way but <laughs> look at this that's that was us this weekend so if we were painting white next weekend uh a nice off-white well tan color for the bathroom but we did the ceilings and then we'll do the walls if you heard my last video <laughs> we're in a bit of a remodel but we gotta do the painting okay look at how cute oh my goodness so these are all kind of crazy oh and then these are facing the other way so it looks cool i guess in the pack but so sweet you guys oh my gosh I can see where this is so addicting hungry door they just have the cutest things then of course the name is adorable right <laughs> uh, they do have their own site I don't uh, have any kind of affiliate relationship with them I'm just showing you stuff that I picked up on other sites mostly craft stash usually where I get my hunky dory stuff okay so this was like this and then there are some examples here that's what I was hoping so maybe I can copy something but sometimes you're looking and you're like how did they do that it's because they do a lot of interesting cutting techniques <laughs> so let me think about what I want to do and we'll try okay, it out guys, so I chose and a piece of paper what I wanted to do was something you know I had seen a while back I don't know what the sizing on this is gonna end up being or how it's really gonna look and we will see oh yeah that might be easier Okay, so it's kind of like this is what I was thinking about, but um, I think the video had seen they had trimmed this whole thing straight and this wasn't like a scallop edge. So like they do have some other designs that are like that, but not right now. So since this one has a scallop edge, what I can still do is use that part and then bring this up here 
and then we're gonna do this so they like doing all kinds of cutting and layering on mirror card and stuff like that so that's just the style of you know hunky dory but I think this will be really cute still uh, even though I was gonna make like a huge card which I know a lot of us don't make like eight inch cards and I would have to put something together to make a card base that works for that so what I'm thinking is let's see two four six a six inch card There's still a lot of overlap down here if that was six inches two four six because if this is here and here by the time I bring this up here it's taking up a lot of actually that should be okay okay uh hmm because then we want to do like five and three quarters so you put like a gold in the background right just to make it look cute but I think we can do that and then that way I'm gonna cut this away and we'll use it a different way uh, okay so let me do that really quickly where is my guillotine oh it's over here hold on guys <laughs> I have been like stockpiling videos, no joke, because the kids are going to be off for um, summer, you know, so if I don't get up, sometimes I like to sleep in a little bit, <laughs> if, if for some reason I don't just naturally wake up, which I usually do, um, I won't be make a video that day, basically, so I'm like, oh no, this has, this has to get going. So let's say, and, and this is the only sheet of this paper we have, so hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, let's say five and three quarters... Oh, here we go. <laughs> and five and three quarters. I think it's going to be a lot smaller than I wanted, but that's okay. And that's kind of why you have to make like a big card. Now on this one, you know, we can use it for something else, but what I'm going to do is cut this guy away. And that means either fussy cutting with scissors. I've noticed on um, the Hunky Dory videos, they like to use a knife, a craft knife. So I might do that only because this is some thick stuff and it doesn't mean you can't come in with scissors and you know just go around everything. Obviously you wouldn't use these scissors. So let me grab my craft knife which I have had here for a long time now I can't find it. I'll be right back. If you don't want to work with the craft knife or if you're afraid of it and you want to do it by hand just use smaller scissors like these guys or like your little cutter bees you know a small scissor so you can kind of manipulate that better and I'm actually going to cut onto this not this. Okay. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this on camera for you guys, but I'm, what, and the reason I'm saying that, oh, let me tighten this up, is because I kind of want to put it closer to my face, but we're just going to go around and just cut the best. You don't have to cut, like, you know, completely in every little area, and always have a nice sharp blade. Again, I'm not, I'll just show you, I'm not, like, trying to get every little loopy loop. I'm just going around it as best I can. And that's not too bad, okay. And they do stuff like this, and I'm like, how? <laughs> it's actually a little bit easier, maybe, with a knife, because you're just kind of going in there. And then, you know, her little area here. And she has little wispy hairs. I'm not going to try to include all of them. I'm just going to go around. I mean, that's how I'm doing it if you want to be more exact, especially with a knife like this. An exact O type knife, then <laughs> you can do it really well. But hopefully, I'm pushing through enough. If not, oh, I can see back here. I have a couple little areas there. Okay, so I'm just going to go around the whole thing. Obviously, I don't have to do this at a time, but I can do that just to make sure I'm cutting. I'm going to go around this, leave this little tag a little bit, and all the way down. Okay, okay. I'll be back. Uh, I can see there's a couple little spots where it's still sticking right there and right around this little tag because I was careful to keep my little tag. Oh my gosh, you guys. You know, things like I never even have thought to do, <laughs> right? And, you know, you saw this piece of paper. I can probably use that on a different card. What they did is they had left this in the other video I had seen it and then they still use this card. So to cut it to 8 by 8 they just kind of overlaid it like this and then you know 2, 4, 6, 8, wherever it's going to make it 8 and and then use it that way right. Obviously this one's a little bit different just because of the design but you would cover that little gap with something else and then you cut your paper with the 8 inches. So kind of interesting. Uh, fun things to think about. Okay, so for mine, we're going to put that here, and this guy's going to go here. And then here we're going to tuck some of these other cute toppers, which I haven't even chosen yet. So, you know, this is the one that obviously goes perfectly with that um, set. 
so cute. Let me go through and see, but I think I'm going to end up with that one. Because, you know, they all have their little paper that goes with them. I don't really want to mix and match them. <laughs> yeah, it seems like they all have the paper that they are supposed to go with. But I do also want to bring over possibly... Oh, so cute. Uh, like this one doesn't have little strips, but this one does. So I'm going to bring this guy over. And that's so interesting. I've noticed in the videos they cut this, so I want to show you where you can pop this up. And pretty much they're all like this, I've noticed. So it's already cut, but it's not cut here, so you do have to come in and just trim that away. You can use a trimmer or just cut it. Now, knowing that I only need this to be, you know, five and three quarters, I could definitely just cut it and leave it pretty much on here so I can do this. Maybe give myself a little bit extra just so I can trim it down when I actually put it down right so I'm just going to take that and then from this topper just add a little something back there too and then this guy will be here and then I don't know where I'll end up putting this wherever it shows more well, maybe in the other direction um you know we have all this stuff so we have the little dress we have the little dress again or we have our little character with the dress and how do we do it here they have that one with the little character in the dress and this one's similar but they did it a little bit differently so cute. So let me see. I'm trying to think, do I want all of this? Or if I even want them separated? Let me pop these guys out. It's nice they don't have a ton of chads, so not every bit has something that's holding on to it. And those little bits, if you don't, you know, you can come over with a scissor, but they're not too noticeable right now. It just depends on if they end up being really white. But this one has like the gold on top, so you don't see it that much. I feel like this is too big for this card if I use the whole thing. Well, maybe. Also, does my little strip even show up? It is back there. You just don't see too much of it. Maybe. Maybe we don't use this today. We'll see. Um, or like I said, maybe we go with this one. Let me pop this one out and away from this. And I'll be right back. I'm just going to pop this one out just like that try and keep the other two together just in case I don't know for what but <laughs> just gonna get these guys out okay, guys, you know what I went ahead and take that apart I kept this maybe he's or something else I don't know but it was just the piece that was in between the two so I have this guy this guy and this guy and I kind of like the way that looks and if this is popped up and you can see more of the little strip down there but let's see how much I can get this up here also this scallop is the same as this one so if you want a different pattern you can probably switch it out but it doesn't have a scallop on the inside but that's okay I mean it's this one doesn't either right actually let's see what that looks like hold on I tell you bust it out always ends up meeting like freeform Friday so same thing I'm gonna pop this guy out and then see if we like um, the different pattern just to kind of break up that since this is right on top of that one and I'll be right back I'm just gonna remove this circle okay Okay, yeah, you know what? I think that's what we'll do. Just because it gives a different pattern. So we'll keep this one for the next one. And then this also can go right back to this little guy. You know, the colorway matches, so I'm not too concerned about that. Okay, uh, how far up can I have this and still see our cute little band? <laughs> this is going to be popped up, but this is going to be popped up even higher. So I just kind of want to give it enough room to see that cute, all the different elements. Okay, that looks good to me. So... Let's get this out of the way and then I'll just cut off like I said that actually I'll cut off from this side that last little bit that's extra down there and before I really stick this down let's do that again <laughs> just to eyeball this this is gonna be popped up this is gonna be stuck down and then this is gonna be popped up higher than those two cute okay so let me put this on here so I kind of remember exactly where I'm going to put this strip. It's like right at the two inches, just below this two inch line. I am getting hooked on this stuff, guys. They're so cute. <laughs> Whenever I made that other card, I'm going to go right below the two inch line. And actually, I want to line it up on this side first. Um, I was just like so blown away by that little um, unicorn card it's really cute okay and then this guy I'm just gonna stick it down so I'm gonna glue it down 
I mean, you can shaker these things so easy, especially if you have, um, you know, circular dies or just trim around, you know, make a circle that's roughly the size of this or this, whatever it is that you're going to do. But if you shakered that and then put this guy on top, really cute. Um, I'll do that next time because today I just wanted to play with kind of messing around with the card as it is. Uh, what am I looking for? <laughs> Glue. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys, there's just too much going on right now. I'm just like... getting pulled every which way okay again if you want to calm those little chads down I'm just gonna put this you know so you can see that little actually let's split the difference on this little scallop here so it looks a little more intentional and maybe here let's look at that again that little guy's there this guy over here very sweet okay like that I'm going to put some adhesives on this guy. And where's my... So I'm just going to put a few down. And then on this piece, I'm going to put double the amount. So, and I don't mean amount like I have so many. What I mean is like take that one off and put one right on top. Because then this is going to be sticking up over this guy, okay? And we have to place them strategically, so... Eh. Should I place a ton of them? Ooh, what's that noise? We get little earthquakes here and there sometimes. <laughs> right now I heard, like, the window rattling a little bit. That was a little bit of a... Something weird. It happens. Alright, let's see here. Of course, usually whenever that happens, I'm like, I go right to Twitter and... See if anybody else is <laughs> reporting having felt an earthquake. Okay, so if that guy's there and this guy's here, I'm just going to line the bottom also a few more, okay? Doubled up. Okay, so let's stick this little guy down. I probably should have taken the carriers off to do that. And then we're just going to put a little topper and finish it off with some rhinestones, which it seems like they always do. <laughs> so that's what I'll do too. Um, okay. Let's put this down. Oh, did I take the carrier off of... Naughty, naughty. I wasn't going to do that yet until I saw what... I was doing, so let's put that one back on. Oh, I did on both of those. Okay. Let's put that there. How cute is that? Obviously a lot of height on this one. And then do we have our little lady just kind of straight up and down? <laughs> Again. Oh, you guys. I live in San Diego. Uh, not too far from Camp Pendleton and, you know, airport. The airport's far from here. But I don't know if you heard that. Woo! <laughs> doesn't sound great okay yeah and then I'm just gonna take the carriers off stick this down and I guess we could put this oh actually I got quite a bit ahead of myself I'm gonna cut a piece of a uh, gold mirror card that I just have in my stash I just recently ordered a ton of it on craft stash though and so I'm just gonna grab that and cut it down to six inch square and I'm also gonna get a six inch square card base. Okay, I'll be right back. We are just being super artsy here. Um, grab this from Crafters Companions uh, sub box that I have. Six inch square, but so the hunky dory people would just put this on here and not have any problem with that, but that is a lot of gold mirror card to waste. <laughs> waste is behind there, so I am gonna trim a lot of that away. So, let's see. Now you can just take a die and like die cut something out of here. Or maybe the largest thing that you can uh, die cut from there. But what I'm going to do is just cut away with my exacto. I'll leave myself a good amount because I don't want to end up messing this up and then have to cut another one. We really are only having like an eighth of an inch all around. So honestly, if I was like within a quarter inch, I'd be good. So like right in here. Okay. So I'm going to do that all around and cut this square out so I can use it on something else for sure. Right? Okay, so I'll just continue making those straight lines and I'll be right back. It's kind of like little papers. I left myself little chads. <laughs> so I definitely will save this for something else. Now, since we have that and we have our card base, what I'm going to do is adhere this to my card base first and then bring the other piece over. And so like I said, you know, with this one, honestly, you could have, if you're really good, you could have left, I guess, yourself an eighth of an inch, just the eighth of an inch. But I did about a quarter inch. Um, space there because we're gonna stick it down to the card anyway the card base if I was sticking it to the card topper because I don't know whatever reason um, 
definitely leave yourself some extra room there. And then this little cutie. Oh my gosh, you guys. Did I do that? <laughs> like, I cut this down. Oh, it was already this corner. Okay. I was like, I cut it and I already damaged it, but that was the original corner, so I got a little damage there. I'm going to put glue, especially in that corner, just to make sure I can stick that down. And here we go. <laughs> and this should be right over that. How cute. Okay, I'm going to let that set up for just a minute because I also just need to finish the card off. Oh my gosh, you guys, I didn't even check <laughs> if it was opening the right way. Yay! Thank goodness for that. Um, okay. Let me let that set up for a minute and I'm just going to look at my little tags and see what it is that I want to put on. I mean, look at this, you guys. If you have another card, you can just pop, pop, pop. Do these little things or add this. Another background piece of paper. Maybe take the center off of that one or just pop it back in like this. And you have another card, you know? So cute. Okay, I'll be right back. So on that, they have sending birthday wishes. They have this little with love, celebrate in style, which has the little doll again. Again, obviously, you probably won't have this paper pad unless you're also busting it out. Um, but they have this celebrate in style or on your special day, which is nice to a pretty little girl. I love that so much. So cute. I mean, obviously, there's sentiments everywhere else. We don't have to pick just the ones. But I think I'm just going to stick this on here and then finish it off with some little rhinestones. So a little bit smaller card than you're used to maybe seeing with Hunky Dory there because a lot of times they go wild as far as sizing and stuff. Really cute, really fun. Something I haven't really done. Sorry about the light. It's all this gold stuff, you guys. <laughs> it's all of this wonderful shimmer. Just makes things especially hard to focus on. Let me get a little bit closer. And then I have this set um, from Dime Press and I was kind of looking through it. I think I want to use these pearlescent ones. And they have like a different tone on them. And they usually go with big, big guys, but I think I'm going to go with the medium sized ones like these. And then they just pop them on. Big statement pearls, you know, <laughs> or uh, metallic rhinestones or stones or however. So I think I'm going to place mine down here. Like starting there. One, two and three and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side one two and three okay just turn around and work this way <laughs> and I'll be right back okay guys and that is my card again just an intro to hunky dory kind of style and kind of what they do um, you know I mean they would add all kinds of stuff <laughs> but for me this is really sweet really cute um, oh you know what my little with love moved because again it's a wet glue and shiny Paper. The paper is a little bit slick, you know, so it's going to take a moment for that to settle in. But there it is. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If I have any links, um, you know, I'll put them in the description box. I did mention uh, ordering more Hunky Dory Mary card from Craft Stash. I will link that the selections because they have, like, just tons. But really pay attention to the sizing because some of it is already cut down to, like, Matten A4 card or an A6 card or whatever it is. And some of them are full sheets. So uh, really pay attention to the sizing because... Um, I just don't want anybody confused and be like, oh yeah, I like that. And then, you know, it comes in and it's like pieces that are this big already. So just, uh, that's why they, I think they have so many selections because uh, it's all different sizing of the same colors. Just what do you want? And I kind of like the idea of having some already cut down small, like in the sizes or whatever the sizes are that you normally use because it's just ready to go and it's really cool. But um, yeah, just uh, a public service announcement on that one. <laughs> all right, guys, I have had so much fun with this. Oh my gosh. So many things, like I said, I'm stockpiling videos. So many new things coming up uh, with Spellbinders for June uh, and their June new releases and things. So a lot of really, um, really sweet things. You can always get a sneak peek of those things on Spellbinder sites. It's always like what came out in the following months and then coming soon. And you can see kind of ahead to what's coming soon. So having said that, a lot of times scrapbook.com already has some of the items. Um, but, you know, it's just you know, where you get your points and where you, <laughs> that's how I see it a lot of times. So anyway, all right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.